Okay, this is the old baler. It doesn't look very nice. Actually, it looks like it's got a flat, doesn't it? Um, I had it covered, but the wind tore everything off it again. I think this year, now that I get rid of my old car to the burn, I'm going to stick it in there, hopefully. Now I need to hook it up. And I thought I left the jack out here somewhere. But it doesn't look like it, so I'm going to have to go back to the house. I'll get her all uncovered first. Looks like we got a flat. And, uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, McCormick number 46, I believe. It's not the yucky one. This one works good. There's actually, I think it was a 47, I think, that it's not very good. But we will see. When I take back the house. I've got to bail it today. Um, you see what kind of animals we've got living in the back here. Any raccoons in there? Some bees' nests. I got a little bit of baler twine there still. So. No nest in there. I might be able to use that. I went and bought some new stuff, so. Okay. Let's get her uncovered, get her back to the house. Get her all greased up again. I greased it last fall, so I'm gonna have to grease it again. Let's see if this tire is flat or not. <coughs> it's leaning. It looks like it's flat to me. <coughs> nope, she's got air in it. Okay. Let's get her uncovered. Yeah, so you're going to do this with no hands on the steering wheel. See, I'm just dangling it. Very good. You going to get it in there? Yeah, first try. Sweet. Oh, we hit the blocks out of there. Okay, so I thought I had Jack back here. Um, you can see I'm using a piece of cedar rail. And a block, the canter lever it up. Well, it's just my weight, and it actually, it's just enough. Now, if I can get it unhooked, I'll just warp wood out of there. We get that mess out of there, and we can take off. Okay, we got it up by the house now. Dug it out of the grass, which I know it isn't good for it. Um, it's a number 46 McCormick Deering, or McCormick, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure about the year. I think it's from the 60s. It actually works pretty good. Um, I think this year I'm going to store it in the barn if I can. Just because I don't want to... Uh, well, it's not good outside. So I'm going to go ahead and grease it up. Some rust in there. That's why I don't want to leave it outside anymore. This ram last year got rusted out. And I had a hell of a time breaking it free. It's just a major pain in the ass. Um, only other thing that's wrong with this belt here that drives the auger is getting wore out. But I'm going to have to run with it right now unless I break it. And I'll have to go down to TSC and get one. Uh, yeah, number 46, but I'm not sure about the year. It's made in Canada. Hamilton, wow. You know it's old when it's made in Canada. Okay, I'm going to crawl around on it underneath it and grease everything up again. I greased it when I put it there last year, but I need to do it again. Okay. Okay, one thing I noticed when I was uh, greasing this, and I got stung like this once before, but i never seen one quite that big. Look at the size of that sucking wasp nest in there. Bugger! Little yellow jackets. They're mean little son of a bitches. I need to get this going. I need to get those out of here. Don't know if I got any raid. Might take the torch to the little bastards while they're sleeping. Not stirred up. We'll see. Okay, since I uh, don't have any raid with me, and these are goddamn little yellow jackets, I figured there's only one way in, in the nest there. So I'm going to take the torch, a good neutral flame, and I'm going to stick it in there. Hopefully there's no yellow jackets outside on guard. Okay, you ready? If you see me drop the torch, because I'm running. Die. 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 That worked really well. I rather enjoyed that. Look at him in there. Die. Son of a gun. Now they got the hay baler on fire. Just to make sure. I'm going to give him some more. I don't know why these little smart asses stinging me. Uh, I don't know if they're too 
Look at here now. Look at that. Nice. Okay, now we got the hay baler on fire down there, the old hay. Make sure it hits the ground. Oh yeah, she hit the ground. She's smoking. Let's see if we can get a close up of that. Look at that. Freaking look at the dead bees are on there. Son of a gun. Son. The aftermath. Look at them all. Damn little buggers. Well, that's what you get for storing your equipment outside under a tarp. You usually get animals living in there. One year I had snake skin all over the place. This year I got bees again. Last uh was it last year or the year before I had bees. Look at them all. I'm glad they are out of there. Look at them all on the ground. Fuckers. Oh, excuse my French. Try not to swear around here. Look at their larvae. New new spawn. Die. That worked rather well. They only had one hole in, one hole out. It's kind of gross, but you know what? Better this way than uh, stinging the hell out of me. I just hope I got them all. I'm glad I don't have to go down under there because I greased this last year. This should be all right under there, but I'm going to have to grease it after. So, now I just get the ram plunger all lubed up. Look at that one. He's looking for his nest. Ha 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 ha. Oh, he's pissed. Think he'll sting me? I think he'll be the one that bites me. Son of a gun. Too bad. Okay, put some air on the tire. That's uh, Dave Farm style, I guess. Days farm style, yeah. Work. Okay, and I just parked it up and it moved half a revolution. The ram is stuck. Serves me right. Okay, so I gotta wheel it backwards and try again. Ah, oh, pain them. You know what? Okay, I got the ram back in the very back position. One thing I did wrong. Just make sure you get your PTO in neutral when you try it. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier. Okay, I'm going to go inside and spray the runners in there with WD-40, and should be able to get it this time. Okay, try number three. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to let it run like that for a couple minutes, get the rust out of it. Yeah, I let it run for a little bit. I should put vegetable oil in it, but I don't want. I did put a little bit of uh, WD. I don't like using that because it gets in the hay, but it's just a little bit. Shouldn't hurt anything. Okay. Seems to work fine. The old girl. Oh boy, you wouldn't want to get your fucking arm in there. Oh, excuse my French again. Take your arm right off. Okay, with this PTO shaft here, you can always make sure your guards are in better condition than mine. If you fall on that, you can be game over. Of course, you already know that, anyway. It's not something you want to do when the kids are around. Put it that way. I think I might just have enough spring left, just for what I'm doing. <laughs> 